everybody. In today's video, I'm going to take you on a tour of this really amazing Italian museum type site. So you know I've been using the Art Renewal Center to do master copies and I want to show you one of my friends and subscribers to the channel has turned me on to this amazing site. You're just going to blow your mind. I can't wait to show you. And if you stay tuned till the end, I have a really super special announcement that you're not going to want to miss. So let's do it. Okay, we're coming into this new website that my uh, dear friend Mario turned me on to. It's an Italian website where you can go and find masterworks to do your studies or copies from and to just really get a super close up look at a true masterpiece. So you know that I've been a fan of the Art Renewal Center uh, for finding masterworks in their museum. And I didn't know about this uh, site until Mario turned me on to it. Thank you so much, Mario. Wow, what a great site. You are not kidding. You can get so close. So let's jump in here and find something to look at. So I have been um, really interested in Raphael lately. All right, so you type in the master painter that you want to check out. So here are the works that they have by Raphael. Let's grab one of these and get a closer look. It's a beautiful portrait. Woman with a veil. So you click on it. Okay, so this is what comes up. So I see here that we're at a 4% view. Let's see what happens. Okay, it looks like here we can go full screen. They do have their watermark on it, but we can work with that. That's 18%. Let's pull her face down so you can just kind of use your cursor as the, like a hand dragger around. <laughs> so we're getting pretty close. That's 36%. I mean, wow. Talk about being able to get up close and personal with a masterpiece. Oh my gosh, 72%. I mean, look, you can see the cracks in the paint. Or is that the varnish? I don't know. <laughs> wow, look how subtly the nose is painted. Those eyes. Oh, I could just imagine each brush stroke going down. Look at her eyebrows. You can really see what a soft handling of the eyes. That's beautiful. Look at that mouth. All right. That's 72%. Let's go 100% zoomed in. Holy cow. Look, you can see the weave of the canvas. Oh my gosh. Look at that. All right. Let's just kind of examine her face here. That nose. Look at those eyes. Wow. You want to learn how the masters painted. This site will definitely get you up close and personal. Okay, what I'm really loving is this little box down here in the bottom right corner. It shows us where we're at on the painting and then it also tells you how zoomed in you are. So we can go ahead and zoom out a little bit more. Wow, what a beautiful way to get up close and personal. All right, so in order to get back, let's see, here we go. Let's go find another painting. So let's see. Okay, it's the first time I've been on the site, so I'm still figuring it out a little bit, but let's go back to the image bank. That's probably the best bet. Okay, so here we are, image bank. And it's showing you some paintings here already from different artists. What do we got here? Uh, Botticelli, Michelangelo, Mareski. Oh, Monet, Van Gogh, Michelangelo Moreski again, Bellini, there's Raphael. So my friend Mario turned me on to this. He is a huge Caravaggio fan. So I'm sure there's some Caravaggios. Let's go find one. So if you don't see what you want, you can type, that still got us here, I think. <laughs> okay, let's get up close and personal to Supper in Imaz. Okay, 
So you see over here in this box, we're at 1%. percent let go ahead and do that full screen view again. And we'll go to our box and we'll just zoom in. That put us at 42%. 89%, I mean, wow, look at that. You can really see some amazing details here. I can tell that the paint is thicker in the lighter areas and then it starts to get thinner as you move closer into the shadows. Look at the detail. Look at this fingernail. I mean, you can see <laughs> how beautifully painted his hands are. Look at the brush strokes on the plate and these crusts of bread. Wow. Okay, so since I like portraiture, I'm gonna zoom into this face. Oh my gosh, look at that. I mean, I don't even know if you could see it that well if you were in front of the actual painting and smashing your face up close to it. Look at that. Wow, it is so beautiful to be this close to a masterpiece. Oh my gosh. And look, we're if you look at the bottom right corner, this little yellow box, we're only in just the tiniest part of this painting, but just being able to go in here and see these beautiful masterpieces. Okay, so you guys know I love Bouguereau. Let's see, do they have any? Oh, no, not yet. Who else could we look at? Let's go back to the image bank. Let's look up close and personal at one of these Botticelli's. How about spring? I don't see that one as often. Painted in 1482 by Sandro Botticelli. We're at 1%. Let's get zoomed in here. And we'll go full screen. I was always amazed at Botticelli's skin tones. They're so yellow, but it's done beautifully. Let's keep zooming in here. Looks like we can keep going. And look at the clarity. It's so interesting, I never realized this little sort of outlined area inside the eye. I mean, wow, you just don't know the details of these masterpieces until you can really get up close like this. What an amazing job they've done. Can't imagine. Oh my gosh, look at that. Let's see, does it go any further? Oh my gosh. Yes, oh my gosh. Still going. Oh my God, look at that. Did you ever think you'd get a view this close to a masterpiece, such as a Botticelli? I never did. I didn't think it was possible. <laughs> this just blows me away. Wow. Painted in the 1400s for crying out loud. Look at this. I mean, look at the bits of paint and all the aging that's happened to the painting. I think that's interesting as well. Okay, so I'm coming down on the dress. I wanted to see some of that detail in the dress. So we're just here, I can see in the bottom right hand corner that we're right here on her bodice. So I'm gonna go down a little bit more. So these were the little pearls that were across the bodice. That is so cool. All right, let's zoom out so we can see the bigger picture. Yep, we were right there in the bodice and her jewels. Oh my God, that is so awesome. I could do this all day. <laughs> All right, so if we go back to the image bank. All right, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Uh, okay, so it says show more. So we can just keep looking at the image bank to see all the amazing paintings that they have scanned. I can only imagine what this scanner must look like. Oh, I love this painting. Francesco Hayes, The Kiss. Oh look, there's a portrait of Raphael. So if you just keep scrolling down, it'll keep loading. 
more paintings. Let's go get up close and personal with Leonardo da Vinci, painted in 1490, Lady with an Ermine. I'm gonna go full screen. We're starting out at 12%. And let's zoom, wow. <laughs> it just got right in there, didn't it? I don't think I've ever seen it this close, this clear. I mean, yeah, you could pull up images in Google and try to do a master study from that, but you're not gonna have this kind of zoom. Look at these dark beads that she's wearing and the ermine. <laughs> Look at her hands, the detail in the clothing. I mean, how amazing is this? Have you ever been this up close, this clear? to a Michelangelo. I haven't. If you're going to do a master copy or a master study, being able to see it this clearly, this detailed, this close, will certainly give you an advantage to trying, uh, you know, to paint this from something that's not seen as well. I mean, that is amazing. So let's see. This is what they do. They license, they create replicas, they digitize artwork for galleries, libraries, archives, and museums. There you go. We support the study and research of more than 700 freely accessible masterpieces. What's this about us? Okay, about us, 16.1 gigapixel image of The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci which for some years was the largest digital image in the world. I can't pronounce this, but let's give it a go. Halta Dinfinizioni <laughs> has built its distinguished professional reputation through collaborations with the world's most important museums and institutions. Oh my gosh, thank goodness that they are doing this and giving us access. So these are the people that will photograph these images and put them in those beautiful coffee table books. All right, so if you wanna learn more about them, you can come here into the About Us section. I am super impressed. I will definitely be coming back here to grab one of these gorgeous masterpieces and work on doing a master copy or a master study and being able to really get up close and personal to do it. Well, I hope that you guys will do it as well. Take advantage of being able to see these amazing paintings at an up close and personal vantage point that I've never seen anywhere else. There you have it. Some of you may not know, but I have a teachable site. It's sjcportraitcourse.com where I have portrait painting lessons. Let me show you the website. So it just goes through and lets you know who I am, if the course is for you, and then here's some of the courses that I have. Gives you a little bit of my background, and it shows you that I also offer critiques. The cool thing with my courses though, they all come with a critique. So you're not just left uh, hanging after you've completed the course. So my um, Teachable site is fairly new and my courses are fairly new and what I want to do is give five people one free course, not the bundle offer, one of the portrait paintings, uh, the Emmeline, the Sarah, or the Brandon. You can also grab the three ways to start a portrait painting, which is free to everyone. It's on this site. Go ahead and grab that and it'll teach you how to get started. It's gonna give you three different ways. It's great if you're a beginner, intermediate, and it'll take you right up to the point where you're ready to paint one of these other portraits. If you're one of the five people, the first five people that contact me, you can email me, you can message me on YouTube, or, or comment, however you wanna contact me. The contact information for me is in the description. I wanna give five people a free tutorial course in exchange for your review. That's all I asked for, is either do the course, actually complete a portrait painting, 
or even just watch the course and then give me your thoughts. Tell me what you liked, tell me what could be done better, you know, just give me feedback so that I can make the best courses possible. And that way I know if I'm on the right track or maybe I need to go back into these courses and do some tweaking. So I, I did this all on my own. <laughs> I am not a professional uh, video editor or videographer. So I did the best I could with what I had. And I would just really greatly appreciate your feedback on any of the three courses. So first five people that are interested, let me know. You guys are awesome. I appreciate all the help that you've given me and all the support of my channel. So that is that. Okay, so you can go to sjcportraitcourse.com and dive in here, learn a bit more about me, a more, little bit more about the course and what you can expect. And just, like I said, message me, first five people, and you can get one of the courses for free. Just leave me a review. Thank you. I appreciate it.